An ibex is a wild goat found in the Alps of Europe and in the mountains of Central Asia. The male ibex has backward curving horns that may grow to be more than 30 inches or 76 centimetres long. The female has horns that may grow to be 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimetres long. Some ibex have a large beard and a whitish coloured back. Ibex reads I, I, I. I reads I, I, I. An Ibex is a big wild goat showing off his shaggy coat. Have you ever known a show off? Let me tell you about a real show off. He was an ibex. Do you know what an ibex is? It is a wild goat that lives in the mountains. An ibex has big curving horns. He jumps from rock to rock and runs across the snow with ease. Once there was an ibex named Ilex who was very proud of his grey coat in the summer. Ilex ibex was also proud of his brown coat in the winter. Ilex Ibex was even proud of his coat when it was changing colours. Ilex Ibex spent a great deal of time admiring himself. Whenever Ilex Ibex met another Ibex, he'd say, Your fur coat is nice, but I don't think it is as nice as mine. Everyone agreed that Ilex Ibex did have a wonderful coat, but to tell the truth, they became tired of hearing Ilex Ibex talk about it. One day, as another Ibex came to get a drink in a quiet mountain pool, he found Ilex Ibex admiring himself in the mirror like water. Ilex Ibex threw up his head and waved his horns proudly. My coat is beginning to turn a brownish colour. Just look how the light makes it shine. The other Ibex only gave a sigh. <sighs> His coat was beginning to change too, but he did not go round bragging about it. After all, that's how an Ibex is. Grey in the summer and brown in the winter. Proud Ilex Ibex kept on admiring himself. Did you ever see such a fine coat as mine? I really feel quite proud of it. As the other Ibex looked at Ilex Ibex, he inquired, You must be very wise. What do you do to make your coat so nice? Why, I, I take good care of my coat, of course, answered Ilex Ibex. Yes, the Ibex friend agreed, but did you do something wise to make it look so fine and nice? Ilex Ibex fidgeted a bit and then he sighed. Well, uh, no, I guess I didn't gr grow that way because of any special thing I did. God gave me a coat just like all the other Ibexes. I know what it might be, said the other Ibex. You must be an especially good Ibex to be so handsome. Maybe your good coat shows that you are kind, unselfish and always thoughtful of others. Ilex Ibex really squirmed now. Ilex Ibex remembered how he had once made fun of a scrawny Ibex with thin fur. Ilex Ibex remembered pushing aside a smaller Ibex to get a nice clump of juicy grass. Ilex Ibex remembered his bragging and showing off. Suddenly Ilex Ibex did not feel proud at all. No, Ilex Ibex said, I'm afraid it isn't because I'm good. In fact, I guess... I really haven't done anything to deserve my beautiful coat. It is not wise to think so highly of yourself. Maybe you should be thankful for your fine coat as I am for mine. I'm glad to have a warm coat, answered the wise Ibex. 
right, replied Ilex Ibex as he humbly looked at his coat. I will forget my pride and be thankful for my nice coat. What is an Ibex? That's right, an Ibex is a kind of wild goat that lives in the mountains. For what did Ilex Ibex feel so much pride? Mm, yes, he was very proud of his coat, wasn't he? What did the other Ibexes get tired of Ilex Ibex? Because he was always bragging, wasn't he? What colour was Ilex Ibex's coat in the winter? Yes, in the winter his coat was brown. What colour was his coat in the summer? In summer it's grey. Did Ilex Ibex change the colour of his coat himself? No, he didn't. He couldn't, could he? Was Ilex Ibex's coat pretty because he was so very good? No, not at all. Who really made Ilex Ibex's coat so beautiful? That's right, God did. Did Ilex Ibex learn to be thankful for his lovely warm coat? Yes, indeed, he did. Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the I sound? Ice. Can you hear the I sound in the word ice? Yes, ice has the I sound. Dock. Can you hear the I sound in the word dock? No, dock doesn't have the I sound. High. Can you hear the I sound in the word high? Yes, the word high has the I sound. Slide. Can you hear the I sound in the word slide? Yes, slide has the I sound. Shoe. Can you hear the I sound in the word shoe? Shoe doesn't have the I sound. Cog. Can you hear the I sound in the word cog? No, cog doesn't have the I sound. Like. Can you hear the I sound in the word like? Yes, like has the I sound. True. Can you hear the I sound in the word true? No, true doesn't have the I sound. Dive. Can you hear the I sound in the word dive? Yes, dive has the I sound. Climb. Can you hear the I sound in the word climb? Yes, climb has the I sound. Listen as I read you a sentence. Can you find the word that has the I sound? Mary had ice cream with her lunch. Can you find the word that has the I sound? Mary had ice cream with her lunch. That's right. Ice has the I sound. Darren played on the slide. Can you find the word that has the I sound? Darren played on the slide. That's right. Slide has the I sound. Ducks dive deep for food. Can you find the word that has the I sound? Ducks dive deep for food. That's right. Dive. Daddy helped me climb. Can you find the word that has the I sound? Daddy helped me climb. That's right. Climb has the I sound. A knife is dangerous. Can you find the word that has the I sound? A knife is dangerous. That's right, knife. Let's blend these sounds. M, I, M, mm, 
I, my, s, I, s, I, sigh, f, I, f, I, fi, r, I, r, I, rye, b, I, b, I, bye. N I N I Nai G I G I Guy J I J I Jai T I T I Tai P I P I Hi. Let's blend these sounds into words. P, I, P, I, Pi, Pi. T, I, T, I, Tai, Tai. M, I, N, M, I, N, Mine, Mine. N, I, N. N I N nine nine F I N F I N fine fine P I N P I N pine pine B I T B I T bite bite S I T S I Sight, sight. M mm, I T M mm, I T might, might. T I M mm, T I M mm, time, time. P R I M mm, P R I M mm, prime, prime. G R I M mm, G R I M grime grime F I R F I R fire fire T I R T I R tire tire M I R M I R Meyer Meyer N I T N I T night night S I T S I T sight sight R I T R I T right right T I T T I T tight tight F I T F I Fight, fight. M I T M I T might, might. Once in the early days of Earth, all men spoke the same language. They could work on a project together and not have any problems understanding each other. They began to move forward towards the west from the place where Noah had lived. One day, some men met together to plan. They talked of what a great city they would build. They planned a way to build a tower. One had an idea and then another. Soon, they were all enthusiastically planning about the large, beautiful tower they would make. You know how it is when a few people get together and start bragging. One said one thing, one said another. We do not know all that they said, but the Bible says that they said, Go to let us build a city and tow a tower whose top may, may reach up unto the heavens. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Genesis 11.4 What a grand thing! 
It will be, one may have said. People will be able to see it for miles across the plains, another may have said. People will say, Who built that wonderful tower? We will be famous. Everyone will want to know who was smart enough to think of those buildings and building such a magnificent tower, someone else may have added. Though these were people who knew about God and whose parents and grandparents had worshipped him, their pride had led them to forget all about God and his greatness. All they could think about was the wonderful tower they would build, how they could make the bricks of clay, how many bricks they would need, how they would carry material to the top to add to the tower. They divided the work so that everyone could have a part and they burned the bricks to make them hard and lasting. They used slime for mortar to hold the bricks together. They planned a wonderful city with a tower at the centre of it. When someone asked, why do you want a tower? How high will it be? They grandly answered, why we will make it reach to the heaven. As soon as, as they stood and bragged to each other about the wonderful tower they were building, someone listened. Who do you think was listening? God was. The Bible states the Lord came down to see the city and the tower. God heard them say that they would not be scattered over the whole earth. God saw the pride in their hearts, their desire to be great in their own eyes and their unwillingness to let God tell them what to do. God said, Behold, the people is one. They have all one language and this they begin to do. Go to, let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Genesis 11 verses 6a and 7. Now imagine what happened here. People are building many, are building a tower. Some are carrying bricks. Some are mixing mortar. Some are drawing plans and some are explaining plans to others. One man says to another, where shall I put that next load of bricks? The other man says to him something like, a key. A key? What's that? I asked where you want the bricks put. The other man looked in, in surprise and says, Hable un espanol? Suddenly, one man is speaking another language and the other man cannot understand him. The man, who a few moments before was explaining the plans, now can no longer be understood by his workers. All became confusion and that is what the word Babel means confusion. Suddenly, they spoke many different languages. What a strange thing God had done. By confusing the languages, God caused the people to spread across the earth as he had planned. God made sure his plan was followed. Genesis 11 verses 1 to 9. Submit yourselves unto the elders. 1 Peter 5 verse 5a. The Bible says a proud heart is sin. We must be careful not to be proud and haughty because God says we should not think of ourselves more highly than we are. If we think about other people enough, we are not so likely to think about ourselves. When we brag about ourselves and what we can do, we are not pleasing God. Say the verse with me. Submit yourselves until, unto the elder. 1 Peter 5 verse 5a. Character objective. Humble. To know that God works in my life. Recognising my weakness and showing awareness as a little child that God and others are responsible for the accomplishment in my life. Pride does not please God. Do you know why? Because God is the only one who is truly wise and good. All we have is from him. He has warned us that we should not be proud. We should be humble before God we should be careful about bragging or thinking we are smart. A humble spirit pleases God. 
Submit yourselves unto the elders. 1 Peter 5a Submit yourselves unto the elders. 1 Peter 5 5a Say it with me. Submit yourselves unto the elder. 1 Peter 5 verse 5a One more time. Submit yourselves unto the elder. 1 Peter 5 verse 5a Ibex reads, I, I, I. I reads, I, I, I. Thank you.